reaction. What happens to Tesla once it's part of the S&P 500 club? Well, I've said in my podcast recently, uh, the S&P 500 is getting stuffed like a pinata. <laughs> so, you know, you already have big five mega cap names that basically drive the whole index, almost 25 percent of the index. Now you have the largest company ever to be entered in the index, Maria, at $538 billion. To put that in perspective, that's the size of Berkshire Hathaway. And it only sports 140 times forward earnings, only adding to that overweight and that overvaluation you're getting the S&P 500. So I think investors have to realize here when you're buying the S&P 500, it is 500 stocks, but it's only driven by a handful of stocks. And with the economy recovering magnificently here, it's really smart to start to diversify your money around the globe. You just mentioned all those PMI numbers over in Europe that have been fantastic. So I think you have to be really careful here to concentrate your money there. It's not usually a good sign. Uh, so you would be putting money in Europe? Is that what you just said? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Europe, emerging markets, you okay. got to have a global portfolio here. 